We have a problem with one of the roofs on our antennas and the roofs support several million pounds. Um, so one of the solutions was to fit columns inside of the antenna, but we're size constrained. So we've been looking at the option of putting in columns or reinforcing an existing metal shroud that reaches from the floor to the ceiling. So choosing between reinforcing our existing shroud we have and the columns is kind of tricky. We don't want to use too many columns because we have a lot of hardware inside of the antennas and we can't depend entirely on the shroud because it's probably not strong enough. So we're looking at a case of only columns, a case of if we can reinforce only the shroud, and a combined case so we reinforce the shroud and minimize the number of columns we put on the antenna. The first thing we like to do is we like to do some basic hand calculations. We make simplified models and we use our basic understanding of steel and concrete design to understand how the structure is going to behave and what loads we expect to happen. We have one model where we completely model the antenna and the columns, another where we model the shroud and its reinforcement, and another where it has the shroud's reinforcement and several columns in it. I'll control how many columns I put in at a time to see if we can get the best deflections we want. So normally a structure is load controlled, but since ours is pointing out to deep space, it's really sensitive to deflections. So we have to have a lot tighter design restrictions because if, it, if our structure deflects too much, we point to the wrong area in space. 